Hey, 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 gorgeous people. Welcome to my channel, Vine Kera with Kes. My name is Kesiena Akwara Ati, a health and social care trainer. To all you old and new returning subscribers who keep coming back to watch and like my videos, a gazillion kisses to you all. Kes kiss a pass. If you're just watching this channel for the first time, hello, what are you waiting for? Click on that like button, subscribe, and of course, click on the notification bell. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Also, follow me on Instagram, Care by Kes, TikTok, Care by Kes, and of course, Twitter, Care by Kes as well. And I will most definitely see you there. All right? Now, today's topic, I'll be talking about artificial intelligence, what is known as AI, takeover. Now, jobs that will disappear slash stay by the year 2030. So, you know, the year 2030 is not far away. It's just eight years away. Or should I say eight years light away? <laughs> All right. Now, um, you know, previously we did a video on jobs you know opportunities for jobs in the uk and all of that and i felt and i said to myself rather kes this job is not done yet you need to let people know jobs that are at risk as a result of artificial intelligence takeover yeah and i saw so i said to myself i will have to do that and that is why i'm wearing my glasses so i can say list the jobs too for you so you have an idea of what they are and if for some reason you find yourselves in those jobs already, it is not too late. You can always do certain courses, refresher courses, diplomas, and all of that, certifications as well, you know, to qualify for better things, such that you don't just wake up on money and your job is no longer there for you to, you know, to go to, has become extinct. Is that okay? So, pad on my glasses, and then you're wondering, these glasses all of a sudden, case, what's going on? It's so that I can read you know, and tell you every single thing, list them all out as they are, or as I have researched and found them to be. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So let's dive into it. So what are the jobs therefore that will not be around or should I say disappear by the year 2030? You've got taxi drivers. Of course, you know, the surgeons, insurgents of um, drones and driverless cars, taxi drivers will be extinct by the year 2030. Yeah. And you will have um, travel agents. Now, a lot of us book our holidays, you know, online, all inclusive holidays, transport, hotel, feeding, everything. So as such, travel agents are basically non-existent anymore. Does that make sense? You also have um, store cashiers. Before the pandemic, we had them around, you know, but after the pandemic, I mean, there was a shop, the shop I used to go to in my you know, town center where I live. All of a sudden, there's nobody manning the cashiers anymore. They will always say to you, oh, you just use the machine yourself. You just, you know, check yourself out. They're like, ooh. So those things are going, or should I say, disappearing. So if you're in that um, profession, you might start looking at th th thinking of, rather, something else you want to do. Okay? We've got utility, sorry, utility care engineers. Of course, we're all going green, aren't we? So <laughs> there'll be no need for them at some point by the year 2030. You've got administrative and paralegal jobs. You've got fast food cooks. Now, as you're all aware, we'll have um, lines of production where you have uh, robots. I mean, the robots basically do everything from coating the donuts, mixing the chocolate, everything. So at some point, even to get to fast foods as well, like your McDonald's and all of that, you have robots, you know, flipping the burgers and all of that. Of course, they might need human beings to serve, I guess, at some point. Okay? You've got textile workers. Of course, you know that is being taken over by uh, robots as well. You've got air traffic controllers and pilots. Honestly, when I saw this one, I was shocked. Yeah? I'm like, robots? Really? Pilots? But think about it. The pilots we have now, what do they do? They take charge when the plane is taking off and when it is landing. And who takes charge while it is in the air? Are the autopilots take charge yeah you also have newspaper reporters of course we are all li listening to our news on tv or reading it online these days okay you have mail sorter letter carriers you have interpreters and translators hey if you use google you know what i mean you just put a word there and google tells you the meaning or translates it for you in english or the other language you know 
that you want to hear. You've got uh, bookkeepers and accountants. Of course, we're getting things like, um, uh, what's it called? Go Daddy, Sage, all those accounting stuff where you just type in your stuff and it does everything for you. Okay, you have sports referees and umpires. It's quite a long list, you would say, isn't it? But this is what we have. So what are those jobs that will not be extinct or disappear by the year 2030? And I'm happy to announce to you that jobs like lawyers will still be there, clergymen will still be there, um, medical professionals will still be there, IT systems anal analysts, Will still be there data scientists will still be there cyber security experts will see will still be there okay because you know like i said ai artificial intelligence we need people to man this and to run them and to develop them so engineers will still be there yeah um those who work in healthcare, social care and child care they will still be around okay the army commanders of course you're doing the robot to command an army you're the human being okay and of course our trades people our plumbers, our electricians, and all of that, they will still be there. They're not going anywhere. Coaches will still be there. You have human resource jobs, of course. They will still be there. Okay? And education will still be there. Yes, I know that a lot of these things have been done online. But to be honest with you, in the primary schools and secondary schools, you still need human beings. To make a difference to understand the children to harness their their good qualities yeah and finally you need farmers without farmers you don't have anything to eat <laughs> all right so yeah so those are the jobs that will be extinct or should i say disappear by the year 2030 and the ones that will stay beyond 2030 hopefully so i hope this has helped you or who are trying to i mean chart a path for yourselves career-wise. It has given you an idea of those jobs that will still be in existence, still be relevant, so that you make the right choice. I hope that has helped you all. Now, the next video, I will be talking about something very interesting, something that concerns all of us at this point in time. And I can assure you that you don't want to miss it, because trust me, it's going to be helpful. I mean, I am a practical hands-on person. Now, this um, topic is going to be practical. It's going to help us in this, you know, unprecedented times we'll find ourselves in. So until I see you in my next video, always remember this, never you forget, yeah, that no matter what the matter is, you matter so much more. All right? Over.